Hello Facebook Ads people, I'm Konstantinos and today we're going to discuss about a new ad account with a new pixel and I'm going to show you one or two ad accounts that I have started with new pixels in 2024 and how you can actually make them profitable. Actually I don't have much theory about them, we're going to go straight to my PC, we're going to discuss everything there for the different uh, cases and we're going to see uh, how the ads actually uh, are working there and uh, I hope that it's going to help all of you that you are starting right now uh, because this has been two cases actually that um, the pixel had zero data and now it starts having some good results uh, after uh, all of the things that they were done in the other account. Hi guys, I would like to interrupt this video in order to talk to you about my new mentorship programs and uh, I would love if you go to the website, you are going to find the link in the description or you can find it in the menu of my website and over there you're going to be able to see the different mentorship programs that I have. You can find the one that is going to fit better your needs and I will hope to see you there. So before we even go to the other account that I would like to show you, which is uh, actually profitable now after two and a half months, I would like to show you something here in this other account which is more obvious. A lot of times there is this debate that comes from uh, Meta or other people that they talk about um, that in even new ad accounts you have to do just pro targeting and that's it. Well, if it's working, it's fine. If it's not working, you should take action. Here, for example, I started with an advanced plus campaign. It was having 32 pounds. Okay, this is on, on United Kingdom. And then, and this is also a crazy method campaign with broad targeting again. And I have seen that my CPMs are very high. So after that, I uh, started using uh, more and more uh, interests, okay? And I could see that I, have, I had half of the cost, okay? 13, 10, 15, 13, over here. And I, not only that, I, here I had zero sales, here I started having some sales. Not profitably, but I was having sales. It's very important. I was training my pixel. I was getting uh, data instead of me trying to just push my way through the broad targeting. Some people do the mistake and listening to someone without filtering what they say. For example, if someone is from, um, uh, let's say from Greece, which I live, and they tell you that you should do broad targeting, it makes more sense because this is a small country with a potential reach of 12 million. In the United States, if you do broad targeting or in Canada or United Kingdom with a new pixel, most probably your pixel is not ready for that because over here, using a 10 million audience, most probably it's going to work better in an attained pixel comparing to doing a broad targeting in Greece, which is 12 million in the full potential reach. And most of the times it's not also that because maybe they're going to target only women or men. So maybe it's going to be five, six million. This is ideal and you can do broad targeting since day one. Again, if it's not working also, just try other things. It doesn't mean that you just have to only try broad targeting. So that's my first debate uh, for the new ad accounts and the new pixels. Just because someone says that this is working, it doesn't mean that you should be disappointed and you should not try other things, okay? So broad targeting, yes, it's working. Yes, it's easier to work on smaller countries, for example, in Australia. Maybe it's going to work immediately with an advanced plus campaign. But in the United States, it's much more difficult. I rarely see other accounts start with broad targeting and working immediately. Okay, so we need to train our pixels so we find the most efficient way. And even if that over here was 32 pounds and was giving me sales, I don't care. I care about sales. I don't care about the CPMs initially, but I'm just trying to show you why this one is working because it's actually, we're paying half for the cost of uh, traffic and uh, sales. And then after some point, you can see that I'm having some campaigns that are uh, also a little bit better and uh, all of that. In the last seven days, actually, I'm having some campaigns which are passing the one rose and stuff. So still I'm in the process of trying to uh, fix this one, but still uh, I have tried also lookalikes here, uh, as you can see, let's see. So lookalikes here, I have tried them. They didn't do as well as interests. They had the same CPM, but they didn't do as well. So I'm just testing things from time to time and I'm trying to see what is working and what doesn't. So this is the first important thing, okay? Try to see initially what is going to work with your pixel, with the creatives and all of that. And uh, let's go to the second step now, uh, which is uh, very important. Analyze your whole funnel, okay? So what do we see here? If we see here, we have some decent cost per click. It's not like two or three or 
$7. Some decent CTR I would prefer if it was better, but okay. If you see, for example, a CTR of 0 0.1, 0 0.2, there is a problem. If you see a cost per click here of $3, $4, then you have a problem on your creatives. Very important here, checkouts. Check here. What am I getting? I'm getting every, every two checkouts, I'm getting one sale. Every three, I'm getting a sale, okay? And then cost per purchase. Okay, my cost per purchase is very high, I guess. Uh, for my average value, this is why I'm getting this ROAS. Where can I improve? In the pixel. Uh, by getting better results and this ad account is improving more and more. Secondly, my CPM is normal comparing to other ad accounts and please don't start sending me messages asking me what is a normal CPM in Canada. Uh, th there are no certain answers about that, okay? Um, yeah, I cannot just tell you 20 or 30. Guys, it's, it's important. Just don't do it. I'm having a sense here based on watching the data that it's a normal CPM at least it's better from broad targeting. I'm getting some normal checkouts. Uh, yeah, a normal checkout between every two or three checkouts to get a sale, it's totally normal. I'm having a cost per purchase, which is kind of high knowing the price of my item and the average order value that I get. Uh, so maybe I can improve over there in order to improve my average order value to get better uh, ROAS because this one is going to improve a little bit with my uh, pixel. Uh, as it's getting better, but uh, if I, on the same time, I'm going to fix my average value, it's going to be even better. So here we have a situation where everything looks uh, normal. Let me show you another ad account, which is an older ad account, which things are not doing well uh, at all. So this is another account that I don't know why, but it's not operating yet uh, really uh, well, uh, except from um, some holiday periods, okay? so. We are in the United States, we get a 16 CPM, which is a normal. We do get a unique click over here, as you can see, um, of 1.43, 1.33, normal. Not any crazy creative, but normal creatives. Just so that you can see how better creatives are looking. For example, look on, uh, look on these results. We have 3%, 2.16, uh, much better. Uh, click through rate. Okay, if we see on another brand over here, for example, uh, the cost per click, it's more expensive as you can see. Okay, but this is in a such. It's in a, it's in a very difficult niche for for uh, this to enter now, which is having amazing results because it's having lower CPM because the pixel is trained. It's it has a lot of spend and all of that, but also. Uh, for example, this CPM over here is not normal, okay? It's very low CPM for the United States and it's happening because it's on a specific niche that it's not being uh, targeted, it's not being advertised heavily because there are no interests anymore for this niche. All of you that you know and you follow the channel for a long period, you know which niche I'm talking about. You cannot do any uh, interest ads right now in this niche, so we have this lower. So analyzing, uh, it's uh, very good. Let me show you again this ad account. Let me find it. Okay. In this ad account now, if we see, uh, we can see that we have a normal CPM for United States, some decent cost per click and CTR, you know, nothing crazy. We come here to check out. We can see that we have a ratio of 50%, okay, uh, which is very good. But we come here and we see that even when we get such a low cost per purchase, which is 20, amazing cost per purchase, right? our ROAS is still not there. What does this show to us? That we have good conversion rate, good CPMs, good uh, decent creatives and stuff. And when we go to cost per purchase, we are getting, Facebook is giving us a good result, but we're not getting the ROAS that we want. Well, we have a problem with our average order value. So when you are initially doing your ads, except from testing different needles, broad targeting and all of that, you have to be uh, a very, specific with your numbers over here and just try to analyze where your funnel is breaking. So the funnel here is not breaking, people are converting, but the problem is actually on the average order value because people are not spending a lot of the site. Can we do more bundles? Can we do other things? Let me take you to another brand which has actually improved a lot since uh, I started uh, doing ads with them. Here, we can see that right now in the last seven days, uh, we're getting uh, some very good decent results uh, and uh, the ratio uh, between checkout and uh, purchases, as you can see, 34.11. This is a retargeting, so I'm not going to count it, but here it has similar results. 79 divided with 26. 
this is 3, okay? So 34 divided with 11, this is 3. So we're getting every 3 checkouts, 1 purchase. But the situation was not like that. Because on December, the situation was like this. So it was 387 divided with 59. We were getting 6.5, okay? So every uh, 6.5 um, checkouts, we were getting a purchase. And here, it's it's a, it's a wrong on the reporting. Uh, don't get me wrong. We can see also January, for example, I believe. On January, for example, we had 1,752 divided with 349. This is five. So every five checkouts, we were getting a purchase. And now in this month, after doing some changes, what were the changes? One of the biggest secrets in the industry, they were charging shipping. I told them, instead of you selling something for $50 and $10 shipping, sell it for $60 with free shipping. Boom magic you know people don't like to pay for shipping they don't like it at all they leave the checkout they are getting angry i don't know why they don't even calculate it they just want to see free shipping and when you're taking the price of shipping and you incorporate it inside the price inside your normal price then you see that the conversion rates are getting much better second thing one page checkouts when you are on shopify and you go to one page another page another page people are getting bored okay and when also we have to not forget that Facebook is an impulsive platform and being an impulsive platform, it's very important to understand that people are deciding if they are going to buy just like this and by just giving them more pages, they're just going to maybe regret it because they didn't know you. As we say a lot of times in this channel, Facebook is the platform that's actually convinced you to buy something that you didn't know that you wanted five seconds ago. So a lot of impulsive sales, especially when we talk about products that are within the comfort zone uh, pricing. And now you can see here that, of course, the spend was 8K uh, so far this month. The last month, how much did we spend? The last month we spent 12K, 2.49. Uh, this month alone, uh, 2.7 with 8. So we're spending even more, but the reason that we are improving is because we have seen that let's see also the cost per purchase i'm actually curious yeah so the cost per purchase is the same but we're getting uh, more sales uh, and we're also scaling so right now we're having a ratio uh, which is more normal in the last campaigns is every three checkouts one but even if we see the uh, 223. So it's 3.6 in the total, but the tendency is to go close to three. Everything checkouts one purchase, which is now the new numbers that we get. We're getting better results. I'm uh, starting scaling this brand. And this was a clear indication when I came. This is not a new brand, by the way, but still it's a very good example to understand where the funnel is breaking. This is now a very good situation where we can see that we can actually start uh, improving. Let me take you to this brand that uh, I actually scaled uh, profitably. This is a brand that uh, I started on uh, December, I believe. So on December, it actually spent 15K with 1.15. On that period, uh, I tried uh, my broad targeting on 22. The fun fact now is that I didn't consider initially 22 something expensive, but after seeing on the other ad account the difference over there, this is something that now I do to all of my ad accounts when I'm starting with new pixels. So this is 22 and then I did interest over here and it's almost half. So again, it's a new pixel. It's a proven product which is working on another country. So I'm just trying to expand now. This is on Canada. Over here, I started having my first uh, initial success over here with 2.39, but still it's not enough. Uh, for uh, this brand. On January, uh, I started, I went to 27K, 2.3, and now I'm having my major structure over here, which is basically, this is an interest campaign. 
that I'm having different interest side here. I'm taking one of the interests that have actually worked here. For example, if we see here, this interest over here has spent all the money with some decent uh, ROAS over here. It has also volume, 46 sales. So I took this one, which was working, and I did it. Uh, I did a crazy method with it. And uh, then uh, what I'm doing here is uh, two retargetings because you know, it's a start, I need to do retargeting. They also run Google Ads, so even if I steal some sales from Google, it's fine. Here, I'm uh, trying some uh, lookalikes, uh, which are not doing so well, but I'm still trying to see what is working. Also, the CPMs over here, they're kind of same as the uh, interests. And here, I'm doing some lookalikes of 1%, because on the previous case over here, I'm doing stack lookalikes crazy method with 10%, which means that still my pixel doesn't like the bigger audiences so i have to stay to a little bit smaller audiences so lookalikes one percent with different uh look like this is purchase one percent checkout one percent add to cart one percent and this is working and then by just maintaining that and optimizing and all of that this month finally i'm in a very good shape uh actually uh all of this improved my pixel is improving i'm getting more sales i'm doing it now profitably uh, which is very important and on the other hand I'm also uh, scaling so this is the process uh, I think that all of this summarizes what you should do with a new pixel and a new ad account and everything uh, check uh, your CPMs and where your funnel is breaking and test interest or whatever you want start pivoting to look and if you see that 10% doesn't work work with 1% and eventually you're going to end up doing uh, bro targeting my next step here now that i'm profitable is to do an advanced loss campaign and see if it's uh, going to uh, work uh, when i'm going to decide that i want to actually uh, scale uh, more So for all of you that you're beginners and you have new pixels and stuff, these are the things that you should look and this is how I scaled uh, to, I scaled. I, I haven't even started scaling them, I guess, but I made two other accounts profitable. So sometimes we have some excuses, for example, and we say that it's not possible anymore in 2034 is more expensive. Well, there are cases that as you can see, we can do it. Also, I like to create content from time to time from people that they don't have only big spends and all of that which we like, it's more appealing, it's better, ROAS, scaling and all of that. But there are people that are also struggling with new pixels and everything and new ad accounts. So uh, that's something that is going to help you if you are in that case, I suppose. Don't forget that if you want to learn more, you can check my book, my course or my website. And until we meet again, guys, be creative. Good luck and be consistent.